Welcome everybody back to Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. In the last part, uh, we encountered uh, Dennis at Goolagoon. Ah, fantastic. Dennis is involved in this plot somehow. Hooray! But now, we're going to Sandy Street Home. You'll be playing as SpongeBob! Within Sandy Street Home, the difficulty of this level is average. Jumping is disabled. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, I do. Sandy Street Dome, 8 a.m. Without the prince in command of the Jellion Horde, the Jellion. Okay, let me try that again. Without the prince to command Jellion Hordes to attack residents, the Jellion's influence deceases. The gangs taking this is an opportunity to locate the Overlord's nest, but they'll need all the help they can get. I got a burp coming. <coughs> I took a little bit of. I took a bit of a sip of. Uh, I took a couple sips of uh, Mountain Dew before I started recording. While Squidward and Mr. Krabs visit a grieving Karen, SpongeBob and Patrick pay a visit to Sandy in hopes their technological, her technological prowess can save the day once again. Unfortunately for them, it's hibernation season. Yeah, because it was Sandy and SpongeBob who uh, wore the, sungla the sunglasses as disguises and snuck into the Krusty Krab where they found the Overlord in the freezer. And then SpongeBob finished him off. But it's like, it was Sandy, the one that figured out that, oh, everything's weird, and, and was able to pull Spongebob away. Oh, no. I remember this, I remember the okay. hibernation episode. No, I'm Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. You can be Pinhead Larry. Who are you calling, Pinhead? Well, it looks like Sandy's hibernating again. Bye. That means she made it out okay. Why don't we check on her so- Why didn't we check on her sooner? No! Because Mr. Krabs would fire us? Good one, buddy. You don't even work at for Mr. Krabs right now. <gasps> That's what I said! I don't want to lose my job! Hmm. Right. Well, let's head back so we can find the cause of the, all this chaos. Locked? Oh no! The logs froze! <laughs> oh good! I made sure to practice my craft uh, this time. Uh, open sesame! Uh, please? No! Well, I've done all I can do. Well, that, what a waste of a fantasy book. Oh no! Fish based! Well, maybe we can find something to help us out. Oh. Otherwise, we're stuck in here not only till spring, but until bikini bottoms and shambles! <clears throat> oh no! I don't. This did not go well for us. I kind of want to look around the tree dome a bit. You know what? I'm gonna take this opportunity to look around the tree dome. Okay, that just loops around back there. Never know what secrets you can find in here. In the blizzarding, in the freaking blizzard that is Sandy Street Home. There's our squirrel wheel. I called, I said a squirrel wheel on purpose because Sandy's not a hamster. That look like a big gaping mouth. I still want to look around. Know my surroundings. Man, sucks that jumping's disabled. Okay, there's the tree. I sure hope we li we live long enough to save everyone. Yep, Dirty Dan and Pinhead Larry. Who are you calling Pinhead? 
Uh, is that the door? Is that something else? That's the door. Okay. Let's head to the tree. Uh, let's go to the treehouse. I'm gonna look around the treehouse first. Something over here. in this place. Doesn't Alright. Huh. Wait, Patrick, remember the last time we were noisy? <laughs> oh yeah. She tore us to shreds. Oh yeah. Oh, right. Huh. We shouldn't run around up there. <clears throat> we shouldn't run around up there. If she wakes okay. up then I'll let her. <laughs> then I'll tell her you're Dirty Dan. <laughs> okay, so no running around up here. Find something to melt the ice. No running. Don't wake me up or else. So don't. No running past this point. Okay, let's look around. Heh, <laughs> Kenny the cat. <laughs> With Kenny gone, at least you don't act as creepy. <laughs> yeah. That, that was an interesting episode. Heh, <laughs> Sandy's three nieces. Ah, oh, I wish I, I thought I could turn the TV on. Picture of the Texas. Sandy's bathroom. I had a flashlight or something. Well, there's Sandy. This is very dangerous, and I should not be doing this. Oh, another door. That's where I just came out of, so let's go in here. Why do... Okay. Cool robot, I guess. Ah, I thought I could do something here. Okay. <clears throat> Say, Patrick, look! Sandy was building a flamethrower! Oh, yeah. You reckon we could build it, SpongeBob? That's right. Sure. Let's start with the hairdryer. She's gotta have one around here somewhere. Search for a blueprint. Search for a blueprint component within, within Sandy's tree. Uh. Okay. Hey, it's the butterfly. Also, why don't we have helmets on? What the heck are these? Okay, little miniature robots. Neat. Hey, picture of Texas. It's not only a picture of Texas, but it's supposed to be one of those, uh, in Battle for Bikini Bomb, it's one of the, uh, Texas, it's one of the things- Okay, Pinhead Larry! Now we're going to have to- I accidentally tapped- I accidentally tapped shift. <laughs> I was like, what the hell did I do? I accidentally tapped- <laughs> run. That's what I did. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Okay. No 
running. <laughs> no running beyond okay. the yellow line. <laughs> that kind of got me. We need to find a hair dryer, which I can only assume is in the bathroom. Let's put this sucker. Let's start putting this sucker together. Oh! Do you need to melt it first, SpongeBob? Really? It's frozen. Okay, Sandy's nut o roaster. It's Alright. There we hmm. go. And there's... And there! That's one piece down! Oh yeah! And only seven more to go, right? Yep. Barnacles, that's right. I didn't see any other pieces in here, so they must be outside. Hmm. What was that? Okay, let's build this flamethrower. Uh, what was that? Oh no, that robot's gone. Oh dear. Okay, let's find, start finding those pieces. Okay, is, that's apparently nothing. I see something over there. That robot's gone. It had a clock on it. I don't know where the fuck that robot is. I don't want to know. Actually, I do want to know. If I know where it's at, then I can avoid it. And look where the golden spatula is. Right next to Sandy. At least I know where it's at. Why did that robot have to activate? I cannot run past the yellow line. Alright, back out of the storm. Five points, survey the land. There's the robot! And it's coming right for me. Fantastic. There's another piece. here 
really sucks because I can't run. And even then, that thing was behind me. I didn't even know it was there. And that thing can come into the tree dome. That... That sucks. Last one I found... Ten thousand will track you down until this prime directive of waking you up has been fulfilled. Oh, that, that, no, that sucks. Now where the first two components are, at least. That stupid robot. I gotta find, and this is, I'm only finding like the third piece out of eight. I wish there were better, ch I wish, I wish, it ch I genuinely wish it checkpointed after at least every piece. Make it a little easier. But, that's me because I suck. This one's gonna take a while. I wasn't even that close to the stupid thing. Okay, somewhere over here. And climbing up these things is like. Uh oh. Here it is. Screw that tin can. There he is. Please don't tell me he's faster than me. Walking. It doesn't seem like it. Where's that dumb robot? There he is. Okay, he's very slow, actually. He's just very smart. just alerted him towards me. Stay at a high place so I can keep an eye on my surroundings. There he is. Okay, he's behind me. So where's the next piece? Uh, it's gotta be around somewhere. Where is he? I've made this much progress. Here 
Just I know I'm going in loops. Where is it? start all over. Oh, that. I'm gonna look around and see if I can't find a different component. And see if there's like an order to them. Or if they are literally just laid out. And I've been just glossing over them. I gotta keep a constant move on because of that stupid robot. I want to see if I can't find a different one first. Because I feel like this is going to take a very long time. There's the first one again. I guess I, better... I, guess I just got to grab them up one at a time. That stupid robot popped up out of the snow. You gotta be kidding me. How is this not considered intense? This is this level is supposed to be average. This this ain't average. That's... no bueno. It's over here. Got it. Get back in the tree dome. I gotta run around. Or walk around, technically.
fact that I glossed over this so many times. Che hey, a checkpoint. Thank you, game. Come on. I'm thankful it's not faster than me walking. At least not one above ground. That's that's very nice. A halfway point checkpoint. I'm happy about that. So we find a lighter. A lighter for it. Found the, found the hose. This is going a lot better than on what I thought it would. I'm thankful that there's a checkpoint. Are you kidding me? It blocked the door. That robot blocked the door. He's actively making it harder. actively making this harder that clever like the increasing difficulty but screw off but genuinely screw right off that is something I do not need <laughs> lot of things I wish. But you know what? Increasing difficulty? Nice. Found the next piece. Found the pipe. Thankful that we have a check. We got a checkpoint at least. I can't believe that robot blocked up that door. That. So it was around. That part was around here. I think. I already forgot. Right there. that there's a checkpoint here at the halfway point. Stupid robot. I already passed it. I can make a loop. I'll just loop around. Thankful he's always slower than me. Oh, f screw off, pal. Screw right off. I'm thankful you're slower than me. I'm so thankful you weren't too slow for me. But you are smarter than me. 
Oh, I can see his shadow right behind me, and I can't run. Oh, uh, no. Oh, when I hear the freaking wheel. Go! Okay. Next piece. Where's it at? Get up! Okay, there he is. Nope. Where is it? I just gotta keep moving is the thing. There's the door. Oh my god, I hate how I can't climb up every steep angle. Challenge. There he is. Uh, nope, that's tombstones. There. I keep going. Sorry if I am constantly glossing over the parts and you guys know where it's at. I don't know where they're at. I don't know where, where pieces are going to spawn. I'm just trying to be on a constant move, so I don't have to do it all over again. Okay, here we go. Okay, gotta remember, it's behind the freaking mouth looking formation. I gotta dodge that stupid son of a gun when I get inside the house. This this part feels more intense than out in the tree to like out in the storm. Apparently, that was just too close. That hitbox is ridiculous. Alright. So, at least I know where the hose is at. I just gotta find the pipe again, which should be somewhere around right there. I gotta circle around. Seriously? <sighs> Should have enabled jumping on this level, man. <laughs> Did you see the distance I was at from that robot? Did you see the distance I was at? Drinking Mountain Dew and it's making me very burpy. <sighs> okay. Let's do it again. At least you know where they're at. Okay, looks like I missed it. And now I gotta circle around.
at least I know where they're at. Try climbing. I'm not gonna try and get that golden spatula. It is not worth the risk at the moment. If you wanna get, honestly, good time to get that golden spatula is literally at the beginning. Not the very beginning, but the beginning of the collect the parts bit. That's the opportune time. I'm waiting to see where that stupid robot's gonna pop up. Next part is I'm just gonna get to it. I'd like to go to the outer, the most outer rim of this tree dome and then circle around. That's what I like to do. But that's my strategy. There it is. Get the hose. All right, got it. I'm just gonna get back to the tree dome without alerting the, the, the robot getting too close and waking up Sandy. Admit, I do like the fiddle and banjo that uh, turn on when uh, Sandy starts. When Sandy's woke up. Okay, I just gotta find the next piece where that's gonna be. There it is. Um, the red eyes remind me of uh, Charlie the Robot from Scooby-Doo. I remember that episode. That was a decent one. force me to take the longest routes. You absolute dick. Okay, now I just gotta find the next part, wherever the hell that's gonna spawn. I know where the first two are. I know where the first two when I'm gonna die when I die, I know where the next two are gonna be. I feel 
think it would be ne they spawn next to places like the next to stuff that stands out on the map that lets you know where they're at. They'll let you know where you're at in the map. Kind of like uh, Slender Man. Best I, that's the best thing I can, can compare this to. Okay, got it. Back to the tree dome. Robots making me take the longest routes. There he is. Okay. Go where I want you to. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I'm more so worried about the robot outside of the tree dome than I am here. Here, and then I gotta juke around him. So of course this asshole had to block the door. To uh, stay the f No. Mm. Go SpongeBob, go! Walk as fast as you can! Okay, the last part's a propane tank. I'm gonna set this freaking robot on fire with propane and propane accessories. Wherever the heck it's gonna spawn, if I can get up. Sandy. She's stuck. Nope, she's not. general idea of where they're at. Right over here is the pipe. And it's gonna be the hose. And then it's gonna be the little hook deal that the lighter's gotta be attached to. Just aim from the nozzle. I hear him. And then it's the propane tank, which I don't know where it's at yet. That one was on me. That one was on me. Okay, back out into the storm. Cause I know where the park. I, I know where the right. I know where the park's at. Yep, here it is. Circle around. Got it. I got it. Oh I stepped on twigs. That's what killed me the last time when I had one last when I had to find the propane tank. 
That's what killed me. Wasn't paying attention to the twigs. Pretty sure. I already forgot. But, at least for right now, that door isn't blocked by the robot. The robot didn't block the door. I think it said that... No. After I get this next part, it's going to be blocked off. And I know where the hose is at, so I got to go and pitch it. I would call this the mouth of a giant of the last bullworm. That's the only thing I can think of. That's not the worm. Excuse me. That's not the worm. That's its tongue. Oh, this is the tongue, and the whole cave is the worm. Run for your life! Oh god, I almost accidentally ran past the yellow strip. Almost woke up Sandy. He literally just climbed through the window. <laughs> nope. Aha! Still got them jukes. I get this, he's gonna shut that he's gonna shut off he's gonna close off the door. So I can't go through there. And I gotta juke around him and find the next part. Seven one. Which I have a general idea of where that's at. I hate that robot. It's a good game mechanic, I won't lie. But I hate it. I wish... Oh, I know. Patrick wouldn't do anything because it'd still go off. I wish you could throw a snowball at it. And temporarily disable it. That part was somewhere... There it is. trying to do that. Actually, I'm just... I... <sighs> damn it. God damn it. Alright. Now I know exactly where it's at. It's literally right outside the door. <sighs> Let's get this pipe. Let's circle around. Just no matter what, just you just gotta circle around and then go back in just to make sure that robot's off your tail. Cause the hitbox distance on that robot is ridiculous. I missed the opening, but you don't deny. Nope, no I didn't. I was still over a little bit more, but I made a shortcut, cause I want to finish this level. I'm at the very least thankful that there's a checkpoint at the half when you get four out of eight. So that way you don't have to get all seven parts. The rest of the seven parts. As freaking Charlie over here doesn't activate until you uh, put the get the hair dryer. I'm gonna start calling him Charlie from because of Charlie the robot from Scooby Doo. Because he reminds me of, because he kind of reminds me of Charlie the Robot. Part's literally right out in front of the tree. Of the tree. Sandy's out. 
goes. And then I just gotta search for that propane tank. And then I just gotta get the fuck out of here. So good. He's literally just coming through the window. Oh man. I'm pulling on this robot, and yet he still gets me. Mainly because I'm being a bit incompetent, but... Oh well. You gotta live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn. Alright. Go all the way around. Make sure to throw that robot off. Smartest move to do. Because he's gonna be, he's always gonna be behind you. He's not really gonna pop up in front of you. He's gonna, he's constantly tailing you. Which I, ch I'll, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't, in scary games, I never like enemies that are on your constant tail. It creeps me out no avail. But it's nice that at least this guy... Oh, I tapped shift just to get a little bit more run. But I, th I, uh, I thought I screwed myself over. Alright. Wait for Charlie. Hey, buddy. I know he looks... Mainly nothing like Charlie the Robot from Scooby-Doo, but I mean, that's the that's the best thing I can think of. He sure as shit no bender. Bite my yellow spongy ass. Wait for Charlie. don't know where that propane tank is, so this is the part where I, this is the part where I've really gotta look around the tree dome while keeping an eye out. I don't know where this stinking propane tank is. So I just gotta keep going around in circles. I spot it. I'm really hoping... And honestly, it's a propane tank. And I don't think it... it I don't know how much it's gonna stick out. A white propane tank sticking out in the snow. I was gonna open it be by this. Somewhere near this, I hoped. But I guess not. God damn it. Where is it? Found it! Yoink! And it wasn't, it was near the entrance of the tree dome. Last part. I don't know how close Charlie is. Okay, it's right there. 
I got this, boys. Oh, we got this, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. I got this. Let's build us a flamethrower and get us out of here. I'm still gonna be wary of that stupid roll. Yep. Melt the ice off the front door. Don't need to tell me twice. Sandy's Nut O Roaster. And we got the Dragon of the Weast. Us. Instead of Dragon of the West and Dragon of the East. I've seen those memes. I know about the Dragon of the East. Okay, where's the front door? There's the front door. Patrick, let's get out of here. Do it, Dragon of the East. Patrick! Oh, I saw the robot. What? Threats! This log is still frozen! BARNACLES! This is taking too long! I want the war now! <laughs> oh my god. Was that- was- Yeah, there is a no death. I didn't find anything. Well, I knew where the golden spatula was, I just didn't grab it. I chose not to grab it because I didn't want to risk it. Holy crap. Ooh. Well, this, uh, this looks okay. Well, that's going to do it for this ep part of, uh, Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. Come back next time as... I can only assume that this is the final level. Uh, so come back as we take on to what I assume is the final level of the game. Until then, everybody.